Yeah, it's really exciting to uh, to see him nominated um, with huge merit, obviously as well, massively well deserved. Uh, but a great thing for rugby league, I think, uh, just to to have someone there who's done so much for the game uh, and and to be recognised for it as well is uh, is a great way of um, of encouraging more people to follow what a great example it's been. Your thoughts on Kevin as a, as a player, as a as a fellow sportsman? Just the ultimate professional, uh, the ultimate leader, um, and someone I'd say who I'd sum up as someone that owns this performance. It's, it doesn't look like it's something he does. It just looks like someone he is. It's not a case of I'm going to go out there and try and play well. It's just to go out there and be Kevin Sinfield. I think that's what people have gotten used to over almost 20 years now is the fact that him playing the way he plays is just who he is. It's very difficult for him to not play well, to not have an effect, a positive effect on the game and his team. He's become, uh, you know, an enormous figure in the in the game, and he's left it in an incredible place. You know, and that takes incredible values, effort, day in day out training, and, and uh, yeah, and it, and it takes big decisions as well under huge pressure. And I guess he's the kind of player that. As a, as a fellow professional, you love to play alongside because he, he's so consistent and does those those little basic things so well and, and so consistently. Yeah, I, I think if, if anyone ever asked you this, the secret to success of sport at the highest level, you, you'd use Kevin as an example and say, this is it here. It isn't necessarily running 100 metres and scoring tries. It isn't kicking the ball from 50 yards. It's just day in, day out, excellence. Yeah, of course, the basics, but above the basics as well. The tough stuff as well, he makes look easy. Um, but it's also the fact that it just seems to happen every time. And that's not by accident. That's because it happens every time in training. It becomes, happens every time as a decision. Um, and yeah, it, it's one of those guys as a leader because of that, uh, that you want in the change room next to you. Um, and it makes you feel better about the the afternoon ahead, you know, when you see someone like that, it makes you feel like actually there's a reason to be positive and a reason to go out there and, and, and show what I can do because I've got a guy like that next to me who I know is going to bring it every time. I was going to say, to, to be a good player uh, and the success he's had is well documented, but to lead a team through that period is another thing entirely, isn't it? Yeah, it is because to be a leader, there are there are no shortcuts. It's not a decision you you, you sort of you choose every now and again. You don't pick and choose your moments. You, it's it's every time. If you if it if you're going to be a leader, it's every time. You can't uh, back down from that challenge, and and that gets tough. Uh, that means no matter how good or bad it gets, the resilience you need to show, um, and the almost the invincibility you need to show is incredible. Uh, but he's created an aura about himself now that just. Uh, it makes him look like he's bigger than he is, faster than he is, and more powerful than he, he really should be. The effect he has on a game as an individual and his own team and the opposition team is, is more than it should be by the, by the laws of, uh, of, of general rugby and, and team play. What has he done for the sport of rugby, rugby league, do you feel, in, in the way he's conducted himself both on and off the field over such a long period of time? I think, for me, he's kind of made... He's set the bar. Um, in all ways, as we've said before, but on top of that, I think he's made the great values of respect uh, kind of the normal now. Um, he's made strength, respect, work ethic, um, and that kind of behavioural code has now become not so much cool, but it's become it's become what people strive for instead of the glory. The glory people are now realising comes as a spin-off. Well, not a spin-off, it comes as after that. And I think that's what he's done for the sport. He's shown, yeah, it's, a, it's great to win things. But actually, when I remember him, I don't necessarily remember all the trophies straight away. Obviously, you recognise that, but before the first thing that comes to mind is the respect and the fact that it's that way around is what he's done for the sport. He's created a path now for people to follow, which is a genuine path, and it's going to put Great Britain, uh, the, the, in terms of the, the, the league team, the, the English league team and, and Leeds and whatever else, and the game in general in a better place.
So obviously he's a, he's a two club man as well. Is he, is he one of these last good honest sportsmen? One of the remaining few of those last good honest sportsmen? Yeah, I mean this is a chat I'll obviously have with him at some point but uh, it's funny because quite often when you get towards the end of a contract or whatever um, or it comes to renegotiation time a lot of people immediately start asking right well you know, what can they do for me? Who can do this for me? What can they bring me? Instead of turning it the other way around and saying, well, actually, what more can I do for, for them? And this is not the usual. Um, but to stay at the same place, when I'm sure there'd have been offers flying from everywhere, here, there, and everywhere. But to stay